Hello, my name is Ron Shaw, and I'm going to sh uh, show you how to use or edit ACLs using sequence numbers. Now, every network administrator knows that it's a very difficult task managing your ACL, and we want to make sure we put them in the proper order. Now, if we've already have an existing ACL, such as a number, well, in order to modify it, we'd have to remove all statements and then re-put them back in in the order we wish. Well. I can sit there and actually modify an existing numbered ACL by using a standard uh, named ACL. Instead of giving it a name, we'll just give it a, a number. Now, let's go uh, to our router and look at how we edit ACLs using sequence numbers. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to issue the show run and see exactly what ACLs we have configured. Now, as we can go down here, we can see we have access list 1, which has a permit and a deny in it, and then we have access list 101. Now, what I'd like to do is we're going to sit there, and we're going to take access list 1, and we're going to insert a deny statement in between the permit and the deny in it. Let's say I just wanted to uh, deny a particular network of the 192.168.0 net, network. So, this is how we would do it. First thing we're going to need to do is get into configuration mode. From here, I'm going to issue the um, command IP access list standard because we are going to use a named here, but instead of using a name, we're going to insert it with a number. And then it's going to put us into a sub interface mode. Now, as you can see here, it's called a standard uh, uh, numbered ACL. Now, from here, I'm going to issue the show IP access list 1 to get um, my numbers. Forgot to put the do in front of there. And to get our sequence numbers. So you can see our sequence numbers are 10 and 20. So what I want to do is I want to insert a deny statement in between the permit and the deny. So what we'll do is we'll do 15 deny and let's say 192.168.1.0 with a subnet mask or invert mask of 255. Now from here I would issue the do show IP and as you can see it was inserted in between the two. Now from here I would exit out and I can validate the same thing by issuing the show run and I could see the same result. Now, as you can see, my statement, my deny statement was entered in between the permit and the deny any. I hope this was a very informative video, and I hope to see you again um, on other videos for the CCNA Part 2 exam. Thank you. Have a good day.